Here are the three exercises that you're probably doing wrong. Alternating explosive step-ups, push-ups, and ball extensions. Let's get right to it. The first exercise is the alternating step-up. Honestly, I don't like a bench that's too low and you don't want a bench that's too high. So this one's four risers. My knee is slightly unbent from 90 degrees. I'd like to be a little bit at 90 degrees. So for me, the perfect bench height would be about three boxes. Now, the first thing that when you do, with the alternating explosive step up is that you gotta understand it's like you're walking upstairs. And if you're walking upstairs, you'd be leaning forward and the weight would be onto your front leg. A lot of people lean back and put their weight into the back leg, which puts way too much pressure into that back calf and ankle. And this is one of the exercises that is the most common ankle sprains. So when you're doing these alternating explosives, you start leaning forward, you push up, and then you just switch on the box. So when I'm switching on the box, the actual weight is on that front leg. Now this is what it would look like for a modified version, is that I'm always leaning over top of the box and my weight is going into that front foot. The back foot is just touching down for balance, but it really has not much to do with the exercise outside of just creating a stability point. So all the weight is in that front leg. And then when you do the explosive step ups, all you're doing is just switching in the air, but there's always one foot on the box before the back foot touches the floor. When it comes to doing the push-ups, a lot of people try to avoid them and they go on their knees and actually find that harder to do. And I'm telling you right now, out of all the years I've been coaching, every single person that I've had do a push-up is able to do it this way. So if you're just starting off, the first thing I'd tell you is start on the floor, okay? A lot of people start up here and then they go down and then they stop halfway. That's way too much pressure on your shoulders and wrists. Start on the floor, Get your hands in line with your elbows, plant your feet, widen your stance with your feet, and then just push and peel your body off, okay? Even my four-year-old son can do that, so you can definitely do it. Peel yourself up and push off, okay? So that's the, the way that you're gonna be able to do a push-up. Even if you only get four or five in a matter of 30 seconds, it's still better than you trying to modify and do them on your knees. There's no reason for you to do them on your knees. So I'm gonna get you to do the complete push-up, peel your body off. When you get good at it, the push-ups are a light graze of your stomach, right? Or your waist, and you're just tapping, then pushing up. But either way, there's still a reset point, okay? There's a point where my shoulder joints have a rest point, right? A lot of people try to stop right before they hit the ground, and that's a good chance that you're gonna get a shoulder injury. So what you wanna do is just slightly tap the ground as you get better at it. As you're just starting off, peel your body up, and then lay all the way down. Peel your body up, lay all the way down. And that's how you properly do a push-up. And the third exercise is ball back extensions. So what you wanna do is actually grab a ball that's small to medium, okay? You wanna get close to the wall where your knee is bent and your feet are planted on the floor and then your heels are close to the wall but not, slight, not quite touching. Then you wanna get your other foot in and lift your body up so that you can rest this so that it's sitting, your feet are against the wall and just resting. So right now my feet are up against the wall. I'm slightly extended and right away I feel that into my glutes. I'm gonna roll down to contour the ball and then I'm gonna go roll up and press my pelvis into the ball. So I'm getting the glutes, the hamstrings, but also the low back. So I'm rolling here. My feet are pressed up against the wall for balance, but the majority of the weight is into my hips. And that's how we properly do a ball back extension. So there you have it. Now you're gonna know how to do these three exercises, alternate explosive step-ups, push-ups, and ball extensions properly to make sure that you're doing it right and getting the full range of motion. And if you're looking for proper coaching, guidance, where you're gonna shred fat and lose weight, then contact us through our website, www.fitclub.fit. Send us a message and we'll get you started today.